The difficult part of implementing a selective dry cow therapy program is to find the appropriate method to identify cows that have active infections and will benefit from the use of antibiotics in those quarters. Now there's really three methods overall that have been used for this. One is to review the history of the cow. Has she had previous cases of clinical mastitis? And what does her monthly somatic cell count history look like? Second method is to perform individual quarter tests right before dry off, such as the use of a California mastitis test or the use of an individual quarter somatic cell count test. And then the third method that's typically used is to actually try to identify active intramammary infections by either collecting a milk sample for culture or for the use of a molecular test, such as PCR testing. None of these methods are perfect, but that doesn't mean that you can't, some herds can't successfully use these to use a selective dry cow therapy program. What you have to decide on your own individual herd is what your level of risk management is and is your herd really an appropriate herd to be able to use one of these methods and reduce the amount of antibiotics you use.